Okay, we're gonna have Windows 7, uh, Windows 7 machine to run an application, uh, Quirk. And Quirk is too old to uh, 6.5 is to run on uh, Windows 7. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the virtual uh, XP mode and we installed the X Windows Virtual PC and X XP mode already and there are a few settings that we're gonna have to go through uh, first of all let's go to Windows Virtual PC and go down to our XP mode as such that's gonna open for us and we just put in our credentials okay the next thing we're gonna have to do is in order to change settings on the virtual PC mode you would do that through this Windows Virtual PC window problem is it's running so you can't make the changes so what you have to do is you have to go in here do a control all delete in your virtual PC and do a shutdown I'll install the updates later. It's only a hundred that I've done so far. Okay, now that it's turned off, we are going to go to our settings and adjust this properly I, with uh, production apps. I'm just going to go ahead and set it to two gigs. And the next thing, very important here, is the under network. Uh, we're going to put this on a domain it, as if it was its own PC. And by doing that, what you're going to do is you're going to, uh, right now, it's a shared network. This can cause problems on the domain, so we're going to select a the actual controller, it's, uh, network controller itself that way it'll get its own IP address click OK and now we you can see we have two gigs of RAM for this machine so we'll go ahead and we'll start up the XP mode again and after it starts up At this point, it, ha it has its own IP address. I'll, I'll show you right here. Okay, this one is .89. If you go in here, then you're going to notice that it's going to be a different address on the same subnet. And this one's .96, so we're good. Okay, we renamed this. This the machine name for this machine is DD25 so we're gonna uh, put a new computer on the domain and this computer name will be the same as as the Windows 7 machine but we're gonna add a suffix of uh, VM for virtual machine so we'll rename it here and I actually I believe I already renamed this one I did DD25 VM so at this point we can go ahead and put this one on the domain we'll put it on the domain right now and it's going to ask for credentials alright it's going to restart you click OK it's going to restart um, this is going to have to be done for each login. It's it's login specific. So as a new user logs into the machine, if they want to use Quirk uh, or apps that would run uh, only on the older operating systems, then they have to be in start from scratch, put on a new machine, and do all this again under that person's login.
So it's going to restart here. All right, it's restarted. Now, one thing that's very important, if you do this, you're, you're going to get an error. Um, the error is the local policy of this, of this system does not permit you to log on interactively if you don't do the following, which is you have to uh, go into the Windows XP mode, system properties, well, let's let's log in as log into the domain right now. It's not a domain, so uh, user. So we're going to log off. The log in as as ourselves. So what we have to do in order to prevent that is, whoops, you don't do that. All right, we're going to go into system properties and go to remote, select remote users, and we're going to add the user that typically uses this computer. And in this case, it's Wilshire Sandra. do that with everyone that we want to log in there and we click OK by doing that we're not going to get the errors that I had mentioned just before all right, so now we're going to log in as a user. Let's just do a restart. Okay, I'm logging in as administrator myself, and I'm going to make, uh, since Quirk is going to require administrator privileges for the user, I'm going to go ahead and add the user as an in part of the administrator group. Okay, now that we've got the administrators added on there, we are going to, uh, the next thing we're going to need to do is install our program and fonts. Um, let me go ahead and install the fonts here. So, I'll go to my fonts and... Now the again these fonts you can see there's very few fonts just the system fonts there. This is going to have to be done for every user. Uh, you have to install the fonts and install Quirk again for each person that's logged in. Okay, and a lot of times a lot of people will say, well, I already installed my fonts, but that's uh, just because they're installed in Windows 7 doesn't make them installed in the Windows XP mode because it's a totally different machine. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install Quirk. We're also going to do the update.
And now very important part is we're going to have to log out and log in as the user because there are specific things that anytime something is uh, profile specific then uh, for example a printer a printer is not going to work when you go to go to print it's not going to use a Windows 7 printer it's going to use the Windows XP printer if I had installed it there that would have been under my login and they still wouldn't be able to get to the printer so I'm going to log in as Sandra and uh, install the printers I'm not even going to show you how to do that you know okay I set my de default printer and installed the printer that, uh, that Sandra is going to use and now we'll log off and then at that point what we're going to find is under your start menu you go to all programs and scroll down the bottom you're going to see Windows Virtual PC and because I installed an application inside of the XP mode there's going to be XP mode applications and once that closes out here we'll give it a moment okay it's closed out we're going to go ahead and run the application. I'm going to do this though. I'm, with my right mouse button, I'm going to drag a shortcut to the desktop. And I am logged in as Sandra right now. So this is what she'll see. And this is specific to this user. That shortcut cannot work for anyone else. So this is the shortcut to the application, uh, XP application. So when we double click on it, it's going to run as a Windows XP mode application. It won't appear as a virtual machine, but it's going to be running inside a virtual machine. You'll get this error. It tells you to go ahead and continue. And then you're going to use another account. And you log in as Sandra D, or whoever the user is. Quark Express and it's been activated. Let's just go ahead and close that window up. Don't need it open. And Quark is started. Now, as you can see, Quark looks just like a regular app. It and you can go to your production drive for example and there we are okay so that uh, now when they go to print file heck I don't even see print anyways control P to print and you can see the printers that you set up in the XP mode, which that one is what we want to do. And uh, again, we've got our fonts. We install the application, the updates. We do the Windows updates. And uh, now I've already tested out. We can do a save as. We can print. And we're good to go.